use the word choice, which I, I think it's a very important word. Um, we, we, we have these huge global public bads, and addressing them are huge global public goods. We have to choose. We can't take on 50 of them in any serious way. We could perhaps take on 10. And the first point I'd make is we need a better way to choose the global public goods that we take on. One of them might be this combined pandemic of undernutrition and overnutrition. The number of people in the world who go to bed hungry every night because they don't eat enough or they don't have enough to eat um, rises and is scandalously large. But equally, the number of people who go to bed every night obese or, and sometimes morbidly obese um, continues to rise. So we have this dual pandemic of uh, not eating enough and eating too much. And it happens in the same countries. It's not that these countries are all on one side of that and these countries are all on the other side. More than half of the world's population actually lives in countries that have rapidly rising epidemics, both of obesity and of hunger. So this is a new and fascinating phenomenon and a very serious one. And I think the question is, to what degree does that issue lend itself to global collaborative action? Does it have the classic properties of a global public good? And does it, is it advanced by global collaborative action? Or is it more something that is best tackled, perhaps regionally or even in big countries, state by state, country by country? Because most of the tools and the levers and the solutions actually lie within the country. So, I mean, I would have to ask the experts, but I would say, can India feed itself? Can it, theoretically, can India feed itself? I think probably experts would say, yes, India can feed itself. India doesn't feed itself. There are many, many hungry people in India, and that's a scandal. But do the solutions to that scandal lie in Washington, DC, or do they lie in Delhi? And I think we have to ask that question every time we embrace some great new global cause.